Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what masterpieces do to the set, and I definitely will address it in Caldez. Right now, Caldez is recent and it's not even out yet, so the prices are still much, much higher than they will be two weeks from now. So, what does expeditions or masterpieces or inventions do to the price of a set? It pushes down the price tremendously. And we can look at Battle for Zendikar. Battle for Zendikar is going to be really fun to look at after rotation. Remember, as of this video, Battle for Zendikar is still in standard. So it still has quite a bit to drop after rotation. So when we look at the historical expected value, the red line, the blue line, and the green line, the green line is the lowest point it has ever been at. And the green line would be TCG lows, and that's the price we're going to focus on today, would be what you can sell it for immediately. This does not include shipping. This does not include any transactional fees on PayPal or TCG player. This is just if you were to open a box today of Battle for Zendikar, what you would expect as your return on investment. Now, Battle for Zendikar is not a terrible set. It just isn't very strong and one of the reasons they made it this way was because they knew there would be expeditions and so much of it was cracked so much of it was open that created this um, additional supply that normally wouldn't exist and that was the whole plan so if you were to open a booster pack today your expected value for a booster pack at the low range is 79 cents so that's if you add the mythics the rares the uncommons the commons if you were to open a booster box today, your expected value would be $28.26 at the low end. The mid is $67, but I'm not going to include that, mainly because no one really can sell a TCG mids quickly. Uh, so for a whole booster box, only to give you $28, and so much of this stuff was open. So many of my friends opened cases of it, cases and cases of it. If they were to pay $90 a box, they would immediately, almost every single box, lose $62 if they were to pay $90 a box. If they pay $100 a box, they would lose $72 a box. So that's the state of, um, it is the state of Battle for Zendikar at the current moment in time. It's also the future of Caldas, every single set moving forward. Remember, this is pre-rotation. Post rotation, it's not even going to hold $28. Uh, it could just get in or drop significantly. Anyway, bye guys.